I love the sound of cute Pikmin everywhere. Hey guys, it's me, Double D, and welcome to my new Let's Play of... Title screen, please. Pikmin 2! As if we went enough... Oh, 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 I messed with the intro, I can't believe it. On the first episode, wow. Yeah, anyway, welcome to Pikmin 2, where we have more Pikmin doing our bidding for selfish needs. The first one is survival, and now the second reason will be here shortly. I'm not gonna waste any more words. Let's get into our Pikmin adventure once again. Hokotate Fright is a long haul deep space shipping company. One day, its only employee of any merit, Captain Olimar, crashed on an uncharted planet while on an interstellar vacation. There, he was aided by indigenous creatures which he called Pikmin. In the end, Captain Olimar escaped. But in Olimar's absence, his employer, Hokotate Fright, ran into financial difficulties. Very glad, quite glad, but sadly, I have an announcement that is not so glad. Our company is going under. Yes, we're finished. Once on his first mission, Louis here met a ravenous space bunny, and his entire load of golden Pikmin brand carrots was eaten. I took out an enormous loan to repay the debt from his loss. I decided to sell off corporate assets to repay the loan. But your only asset we had to sell was your ship, the SS Dolphin. As for the rest of our loan... We have no means to repay it! Olimar, what is that? You bought back a that as a souvenir for your kid? Treasure, treasure, treasure! Money, 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 money! Initiating valuation of recovered treasure. This artifact is worth... 100 Pocos! That th this thing's worth 100 Pocos? That's more than a year's salary! What? There are more on that planet? They can repay our debt! Louis, you dolt! Look alive! You must depart immediately! Captain Olimar! Point out something that this took place mere hours after Pikmin 1. Walmart just can't seem to get a break, and look at this prettiness. We've only been gone for like hours, and already the thing has changed. Poor, poor Louis falling off to what I presume to be his death. They don't make spaceships like they used to anymore. That was close. I have averted the crash landing uh, running running diagnostics. Alert! Danger! Louis is missing! He must have gone somehow fallen out of his cockpit! 
He is not responding via his communicator. He is either floating, floating protocol, or in danger. Olimar, you must find Louis before he freezes to death in this the cold of this planet. Wait a moment. Look! <laughs> Could those be the Pikmin? They look like they're about to be devoured as we speak. You must help them! Point the screen and press B to call them with your whistle! You can also hold B to make the sound of your whistle carry farther, remember? Those Pikmin are in danger and last time we saw them, we, we saw they were able to, well, handle it themselves. It looks like they were unsuccessful. Let's call them over to us! The Pikmin ran to your side! They seem to remember you, Captain Olimar! How fascinating! Give them instructions and do not delay! Hold A to grab Pikmin and point the screen and release to throw it! And we shall! We remember the mechanics of battle! We throw... And we kill! That's pretty much how nature works, and I miss... I miss. Normally if you would aim for the butt and hit, it will kill them instantly, but... Sadly, I am not the master of, of aiming. Let's just get this back to wherever they're situated. Attention! Captain Olimar, I have just re-established re my communications link with Louie. It is fortunate we have managed to confirm his safety. Press minus to communicate with him. I am quite interested in the details of his condition. Okay, so, what's- You notice there's a second life bar over here. Also, I'm gonna just throw a Pikmin in here. Trust me, that's gonna be needed. We don't have enough. In fact, we only have five Pikmin out of the 15 needed to flatten this bag. However... Well, for starters, we have nothing to do here. But, if we press the minus button... Louie, allow me to assess your condition as per our safety protocols. Are you at all injured? It is that so. Then my concerns are eased. Our communication link shows that you are nearby. Can you make your way out of the location and rejoin us? I will navigate for you. Press plus to contact me and obtain information about the terrain. Indeed we shall! So, we are now controlling two captains! By pressing the minus button, we could be, e be able to easily switch between them. This is cru a crucial part of Pikmin 2, as, as you can be able to be even more efficient than you ever were before. And, check it out. Hmm? Louie, the odd object before you appears to be one of the onions mentioned in Olimar's report! <laughs> The onion ejected just sprouted. According to Olimar's report, it could be plucked with A. And so we shall pluck. <laughs> Louie, this must be one of the pigment creatures from Olimar's report. It is staring at you. You can press down on the control pad to issue objectives to your Pikmin squad and direct their movement. You can disband your squad with C. Interesting. Olimar's description of the creatures resembling Pikmin carrots was strikingly accurate. Louis, my sensors have indicated detected drool at the corner of your mouth. Are you all right? <laughs> That has got to be the cutest thing I've ever seen. So, we have all these pellet posies, so what, what say you then? Well, increase our Pikmin population. Yeah. Unfortunately, we don't have enough Pikmin to well help us out, so we'll have to beat up on these pellet poses ourselves with system. Anyway, you know what? I am so happy that this game... Well, I'm going to be interrupted by cuts real quick.
The onion ejected more seeds. The pellet from that flower must hold nutrients that breed Pikmin. Yes, the Pikmin gather nutrients to haul them to the onion and further propagate the species. The onion is the sh is the is a Pikmin mothership. Reviewing Olimar's report, it seems repeatedly tapping A lets one rapidly pluck Pikmin sprouts. Okay, with all that control stu stuff out of the way, I'm going to have the uh, red go over here and pluck these two Pikmin and repeat with the other pellet poses. Anyway, it, I am so happy that I get to be playing this game. In fact, you want to know how long it took me to even get a copy of this game? Well, it took until t 2012, which is basically... Actually, I might have gotten the date wrong, but it was basically when the Wii version came out. In America. You want to know when the Japanese version came out? 2009! Well, the Japanese version of the Wii remake. It, the GameCube version came out much much earlier, but we're talking about the Wii remake. Yeah, it came out in Japan in 2009, and within months, it came out in Europe and Australia. The former, which, of course, takes ve much longer, and the latter is lucky to even have its existence acknowledged. But here, it took years for the Pikmin 2 to come out in America. And what, what, I don't know exactly why, but one of the possible reasons it took so long is that battery right over there. Blatant product, product placement. Perhaps this object is one of the treasures that we are searching for. The only reason we found it here is because this is where you crash landed. How fortunate. I would like to appraise it, but you must regroup with Olimar first. Can you see him? Press Z to move the camera behind you. You can also press left or right on the control pad to move to zoom up on the D-pad to change angles. Product placement up the butt. Yeah, this is pretty much what a, a possible reason why it took so long for the American version because product placement. Anyway, let's go dig this up. Okay, he hearing all this now, it just sounds like, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. And the digging animation. <laughs> I can never get enough. But point is, we have no way to carry that D battery. Wow, that, that comment I made about it sounding so wrong and the fact that that's a D battery. Let's just get these Pikmin onto this bag and flatten it. Captain Olimar, Louie, you have reunited at last. This has been a troublesome start to our trip. But now you must feel assured that your combined wits can get you through anything, correct? From now on, use B to form a single group, C to take solo action, and minus to change leaders. Okay, so let's go do our things. So we can now be able to separate and and do t two separate tasks. Unfortunately, we don't have enough Pikmin to crush that bag. In fact, I will just... Okay, um, actually, I'm gonna have to give Olimar... How many Pikmin do we have? 16. I'm gonna give Olimar 8. So we each have 8 Pikmin to work with. Because, you know, half and half... I said half and half, wrong button. Anyway, so, let's go... I'm gonna have Louie explore the, what's behind the ship. Too bad there's no go here command. Olimar, buddy, you're gonna have to repopulate our Pikmin. And go over to... Go over to these red Pikmin so they can you can meet them at the onion. Unfortunately, this is not Pikmin 3 and the gamepad does not exist yet, therefore you cannot use the go here command because that would have been a, a total time saver. Anyway, I'm gonna have Olimar wait here by the onion. I almost said oven. So he can be able to pluck some sprouts. I don't know if it's automatic. I highly doubt it. And then I'm gonna have Louie go up here because I wanna, I wanna have Louie take his first steps on a new planet. Anyway, there's nothing here. I could have sworn there was something here, but I guess not. So we're just gonna have to slide down here. And besides, I think that. Um. Okay. Um. Wow, my memory of this game is so fuzzy now. Wait. Where did our... Where did one of our Pikmin go? I could have sworn Louis had eight Pikmin with us, with him. Well, at least this is considering this is the first day we have all the time we have, so I don't have to worry about running out of time. And did I seriously leave a Pikmin somewhere? Hey, let's go check on Olimar. Yay, we have 20, 
20 Pikmin there, which means we could be able to... Apparently, Olimar has one extra. Okay. Well, at the very least, we have exactly the amount of Pikmin to be able to carry that D Duracell battery. Yeah, expect product placement to happen everywhere, which I would like... Again, I would like to reiterate that's probably a possible theory as to why it took so long for the Wii remake to be to be released in America. While it took the other three countries, including Australia, just a few months. Anyway, so... Okay, come on, Louie. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Every time you replay a Pikmin game, it always feels weird because you... You're, you're used to your army seeming so big, and now it's been reduced to, well, to a very small size. But, as they carry this battery along... Seriously, I just wish they could be able to walk faster. But anyway, as we, we carry this battery along... And... stuff... Come on, move faster, Pikmin! I know D batteries are heavy in your perspective. But, seriously... I just realized... I just remembered all the comments I have said said up to that point when I realized it's a D battery. I said product placement of the butt, and we all know what the letter D is as associated with. I am not going to think about that any further. I have problems if I choose to think about it that way. Anyway, so our rocket here is going to be, well, where are we going to be taking our newly found treasure. Come on, Pikmin! I know there's only 20 of you, exactly 20 of you, but come on, Pikmin. But yeah. Anyway, I wasn't able to play the original GameCube version when it when it first came out because, you know, I wasn't that big in the Pikmin at the time as compared to now. And finally, here we are! We have our Duracell D battery! The Courage Reactor! I don't know where it came where that name came from. Get used to those names, because some of these can get hilarious. Anyway, here is our glorious Duracell D battery. That's probably latent advertising if I am doing to Duracell batteries, but hey, a battery's a battery. Our first day of exploration has yielded our first treasure. We will be done in record time! I took the liberty of naming it when I appraised it. The name reflects my current thinking. Leave it to me to think of catchy names for our hit products. It is but one of my many talents. We shall end our first day here and report back to our president. His face will surely be joyous. However, to communicate with Hokate, we must fly into low orbit above the planet. We will not return to the surface until morning, so to avoid indigenous nocturnal creatures. And so, our first day of Pikmin 2 has ended with, well, our two captains separated and the discovery of Red Pikmin, which I forgot the onion is far away. So, Louie was basically whistling at nothing. And then, after we launch here, we're gonna get ready for even more nostalgia. Even though my Pikmin Let's Play was like back in summer, but whatever. I may we never get tired of this theme, ever. Today's report. We we didn't lose Pikmin. Anyway, we got 208 Pokos thanks to that Courage Reactor. And Pikmin Yield! We have grown 20 Pikmin as if we didn't know that. And if you press Z, we get to check out every single possible way a Pikmin can die. So when Pikmin die, it'll be recorded here. Expect battle to be the most common cause of death in this game. Mail time! You found our first bit of treasure! Fine work! Our future depends on your efforts, so check your treasure hoard regularly. I'll keep it keep che uh, I'll check in often. Keep up the pace! I think I'm turning the president into the king from my beautiful Katamari Let's Play. Eh, whatever. Welcome to Pikmin 2! And, there are two new things that, that have opened up at the world map, so if you press either left or right on the D-pad, you will get a view of your treasures, and right here, you will get a view of all the well, enemies you have bumped into. And if you press in the treasures tab, if you press plus, you will get Olimar's journal, 
basically a detail about how of of well the treasure from Olimar's perspective. In the monsters page, you will get plus, which is of course Olimar's notes of this, of well the enemies you have encountered, and minus button is from Louie, his notes. They're basically recipes. Yeah, he's basically impl implying that he wants to eat them. If you have watched my Bayonetta Let's Play, I saved these for the end slate because these can contain some really funny things. Or some really awesome things that you want to, to read about. That you could probably search up on Wikipedia, but I'm gonna give you the time to be able to read these things during the end slate because you might be you might want to read some uh, some, some uh, up on some stuff if while you're while waiting for the end of the video. I just can't seem to talk today. Anyway, so with that out of the way, we're gonna end things off here. Next time on Pikmin 2, we're gonna be going back to the Valley of Repose to see what other, what other treasure. Uh, 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 I can't. I totally ruined the ending too. What other treasures lie? See you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>